If you have diabetes, your body does not use or store sugar properly. This can cause changes in your veins, arteries, and capillaries that carry blood throughout your body, including your eyes. These changes can harm your vision. There are two types of diabetic retinopathy that can lead to vision loss. One type is called non-proliferative diabetic retinopathy, or NPDR. Another type is called proliferative diabetic retinopathy, or PDR. Let's take a look at how diabetes affects the eye. Light rays enter the eye through the cornea, pupil, and lens. These light rays are focused on the retina, the light-sensitive tissue lining the back of the eye. The retina sends signals through the optic nerve to the brain, where these signals become the images we see. With non-proliferative diabetic retinopathy, or NPDR, damaged blood vessels in the retina begin to leak fluids, including small amounts of blood. Sometimes, deposits of fats may leak inside the retina. These deposits are called hard exudates. With macular edema, fluid leaking from the retina's blood vessels can cause the macula to swell or thicken. Because the macula is responsible for our central or pinpoint vision, macular edema interferes with clear vision. Macular ischemia occurs when small blood vessels close. In this case, your macula is affected because it no longer receives enough blood to work properly. With PDR, many blood vessels in the retina close, preventing enough blood from getting to the retina. The retina responds to this problem by trying to grow new blood vessels. However, these new abnormal vessels do not provide proper blood flow. They can also bleed, as well as lead to scar tissue. That may cause the retina to wrinkle or even detach. That leads to vision loss. During an eye exam, your ophthalmologist will dilate or widen your pupils with eye drops and look inside your eye to examine your retina. Because certain conditions happen inside the layers of retina tissue, you may need to have a test called fluorescein angiography, or another known as OCT. These tests allow your ophthalmologist to see blood vessels within the retina. If you have diabetic retinopathy, your ophthalmologist will decide the best treatment option for you, depending on your condition. He or she may decide to use medication injections in the eye, laser surgery, other surgery, or a combination of options. The goal is to preserve the vision you still have and prevent further loss of sight. In some cases, treatment may even improve your vision. If you have diabetes, it's important to remember that maintaining strict control of your blood sugar and your overall health lowers your risk of losing vision. However, even if your blood sugar is controlled, diabetic retinopathy can still occur. For that reason, you should see your ophthalmologist at least once a year, or more frequently as recommended by your eye doctor, even if you're not having any visual symptoms. Also, if you have any changes in your vision, you should call your ophthalmologist right away. If you have any questions or concerns about your eyes or vision in general, don't hesitate to bring them up. Your ophthalmologist is committed to protecting your sight.